All right, so I'm going to say a bit about my uh, dissertation research, uh, which is on efficacy beliefs and how they relate to people's political action on climate change. What are efficacy beliefs? Well, I'll get to that in a second. Okay, so uh, the scale of the challenge of mitigating climate change is not really very small. It's quite big, actually. Um, so people need to do a lot. And how do you give people the sense that an effective solution to all that is possible? Uh, and especially, how do you give people a sense that they personally can actually contribute to that solution instead of it being completely up to governments and, and whatever? So uh, a lot of people, a lot of scholars have agreed, or you know, tend to agree, that one of the most powerful ways that individuals can influence climate policy and carbon emissions uh, globally is by uh, indirectly through political action. So yeah, this is, this is not my idea. This is lots of people's ideas. But basically, it's the idea that you, uh, you know, by taking some kind of collective action, you know, not only protest, but voting or contributing to campaigns or contacting legislators or whatever, uh, that influences the politicians to pass policies. And then those policies can actually have a big overall effect on carbon emissions eventually. And so there's three different types of efficacy beliefs that sort of go into that causal chain that you see there. Uh, so there's self-efficacy, which is the perception that you know you as an individual can do something effectively. Uh, external efficacy is what I'm calling this one. So this is the idea that collective action, people doing stuff politically, can actually effectively influence what politicians do on this. And then something called policy efficacy. So this is the idea that the policies that the politicians pass can actually effectively reduce carbon emissions. So uh, we used some survey data from our lab uh, and had a look at how all these were related to people's taking political action. Uh, so self-efficacy, individual effectiveness, seems clearly related, uh, positively related to people's action. Same with external efficacy. And, uh, but policy efficacy, it was kind of unclear what the results showed. There were some issues with the questions that we used to measure that. So it's, it's hard to be confident of exactly what the relationship is. Uh, so to recap, so self-efficacy, individuals, if they believe that they can be effective, then they're more likely to actually take action. Uh, if they believe that uh, policies can effectively influence people, then they seem more likely to take action. Uh, and there's preliminary evidence based on a, a messaging experiment that I just did that the external efficacy might actually have the most, you know, if you tell, convince, use messages to convince people of that, that might be the best way to get them to act. But uh, that's kind of preliminary, so I don't want to make any strong conclusions about that. All right. <laughs>